Evans tries an O level by calling next uh, is a relation of Vistas prescribed as class 12 English core and presentation is prepared by Kedija, retired VP and AEO KVS. This is a story about Evans. James Roderick Evans, who is a congenital kleptomaniac, means he has a disease of stealing things, strong urge, he has strong urge for stealing things and he has been put to jail and had already run away from the jail thrice. He is a nice guy, not a registered criminal only minor cases are there but he is an expert in running out of the jail so this is interesting story about he is a good planner let us see how it happens students are this is a very big lesson so students are advised to read the lesson themselves first with pencil in their hand and underline the key concepts, key points and after that they should also know how to note down, follow the points that have been here. The technique they should develop of note making which will help them in other subjects of their study. So English, I have tried through English to inculcate in students the habit of note making which will help them in subjects of their study, maybe science or commerce or humanities, whatever may be their stream. So it will be helpful. They should try out. Evans the break. James Roderick Evans was a prison inmate. He had started night classes in old level German. The governor of the prison rang up the secretary of the examination board to request him to arrange for Evans to take the exam in prison itself. The governor assured him that Evans was a pleasant and amusing person and things will go normal. They could arrange for one of the person from St. Mary Max to act as an invigilator and that there should not be any problem in keeping Evans from communicating with anyone. So Evans was known as Evans the break because he had tried to break thrice from the prison. So he has been given the name Evans the break. At 8.30 p.m. on Monday, June 7, Evans, German teacher, wished him best of luck for his exam. To this Ivan said that he might surprise everybody. Now we will find surprises, so many surprises in the story. Examination arrangement. The very next morning, officer Mr. Jackson, the senior prison officer on D Wing, and Mr. Stephens, a new recruited to the profession, visited Ivan's prison. Evans was going to save, which reminded Jackson that his razor should be taken out of his cell. Evans then clarified whether it was Jackson who had taken away his nail scissors and nail file. Evans inquired whether it was a minister who was to be his invigilator. Stephens escorted McLeary to Ivan's prison. McLeary had brought, he is the invigilator, so McLeary had brought a suitcase which contained six things, number one, a sealed question paper envelope, number two, a yellow invigilation form, third, a special authentication card from the examination board, fourth, a paper knife, fifth, a Bible, sixth, a small 
semi inflated rubber ring for treatment of maglaris hemorrhoids hemorrhoids so this is important question often asked what were the things contained in the suitcase brought by maglaris so here answer has been given in points and the students should also write in the same way the exam begins to make sure that everything went off the governor switched on his receiver at 9 am 9 10 am for any untoward happening he recounted all the precautions that had been taken and was certain that evans was sitting in the locked cell all prison officers on alert two locked doors between his cell and the yard and a yard with a wall as high as a stack could not act smart that means after all these arrangements he cannot escape here we should remember that evans has been named evans the break because he is an expert in running away from the jail but he was worried that evans could take advantage even if mcleary had brought in something himself by mistake and that evans could hold him hostage with such a weapon he had mcleary frisked but what surprise action was the presence of a small semi inflated rubber ring at 9:25 am the exam began now the plot of the story the assistant secretary talked to the governor at 9:40 am he conveyed that there was a correction slip the governor immediately put him through to mr jackson he immediately wondered if the phone call was fake and connected the speaker to the cell to listen to the corrections and was satisfied as he heard the correction it seemed evans hardly understood anything about adjectives and kept his pen between his lips and kept staring straight towards the door at 10:15 am evans requested if he could have a blanket put over his shoulders his request was accepted the examination got over at 11:20 am on the way to the main gates stephen asked mcleary while escorting him how evans had fared in the exam evans escaped after stephens had seen mcleary off the premises he wanted to go for a cup of coffee but he thought he must take one last look at evans to his great surprise he found mcleary inside the cell bleeding he raised the alarm ambulance was summoned now let us recall that he has sent mcleary off the main gate and again he finds that mcleary is inside the cell so he got alerted and he rang the governor is there he was followed by detective superintendent carter mcleary was taken to the ambulance nobody bothered to examine whether he was mcleary or evans because the situation did not permit he was bleeding and people thought and they never gave an idea that just now evans mcleary was sent off and again the events uh, mcleary is inside how can it be possible but the first thing they did is they called the ambulance when the governor went to evans cell he found out a photocopied sheet which had been carefully and cleverly superimposed superimposed means put one over the other 
so cleverly superimposed over the last page of the question paper the governor got some clue from there which he followed a little while later detective superintendent carter and mcleary were on their way to elsfield way in search of evans the examination board was in elsfield way and someone from the board must have been involved in the escape plan from the very beginning this was suspected the question paper itself and the correction slip are the clues of his escape the escape plan on the governor's query as who had seen off mcleary at the main gate stephen stephens told him that he had followed the governor's order and he had received on that that he had received on the phone next the attention was focused on jackson who had spent 2 hours in ivan's cell the previous evening and had reported that there was nothing hidden away he then looked again at the last line to the headington roundabout where one goes straight to neuro new graven he tried to decipher read understand what the word meant and it struck him that it was newbury he ordered the prison van driver to take stephens and jackson to to sent eldates police station and ask for chief inspector bell there the governor then received a phone call from carter telling him that magleary has spotted evans driving off elsfield way but had lost him at eddington around the road some more clues on the governor's query whether carter had managed to get mcleary to hospital he answered that he was in radcliffe the governor inquired at the hospital and he was told there was no one by that name inquiry was made about mcleary it was learned that he had been there since 8:15 am inquiries revealed that it was not evans impersonating as mcleary who had walked out but it had been evans impersonating mcleary who had stayed in that means evans has waked evans impersonating the person who was inside the cell was evans only but he changed his appearance and became mcleary and the earlier mcleary who was sent off by the prison officer was the real person so later on when he was taken to hospital so evans was that person later evans reached his hotel room room at golden lion he stood motionless as he saw the governor sitting on the narrow bed governor told him that he understood a little german and could understand golden lion in the sleep but he wanted to know how evans had been able to make out which golden lion to reach to which he said that the index number 313 and the center number 271 were the clues another thing that governor wanted to know was how had he managed the blood to pour over the head to which evans said that he had smuggled pig's blood which had been got from the slaughtered house at kidlington in the little rubber ring which the invigilator had brought the final escape another mystery that the governor wanted to clarify was when evans was so closely guarded he wasn't allowed any visitor no letters then how he managed to plan his escape 
He had many friends, Vajib Han's answer, and to start with that was the German teacher. As they reached, that means German teacher was the first person to help him. As they reached the reception, Ivan's winked at the receptionist and he returned the wink back. He was handcuffed by governor and handed over to the prison van. On the driver's query, where he was to take them, Ivan suggested to Newbury. Comprehension questions. The content has been planned in a nice way. Different colors has been used for different type of points or the content points. So, the students are advised to read these questions and find the answer in the previous pages that we have discussed and on the basis of that they should write the answer in their answer a notebook and read for the preparation of exam. Like and subscribe for regular updates. You may also visit my website www.englishontips.com